Hello, welcome back. Today we are still doing basic insulation, we're doing the oblique T. I know I made this video but I took it down. The uh, apprentice pointed out that um, I didn't prove that it was 45 degrees. So in this video, this is my angle finder. As you can see, it's an angle set square and it is set here at 45 degrees. So that's set. Here's our blank canvas on our polystyrene and well let's get started then. Right, first of all we take a bit of section, we need to put the diameter on and this is 150mm so we put 150mm just there and on the other side we need the wall thickness which is 30mm and we put that in just there we then need to take this outside circumference. So we take the outside circumference, we have that, and we put in a centre line just here. So we just do that. Right, now I know you can't see that, so I'm going to do what I did last time, and we're just going to put that in the marker pen so you can see it. There, there, and there. Now, with our trusty pad saw, which is just a cut off joiner saw, we just take that up to the centre line and we take that up to the centre line. Now, all we need to do is from this point here. To this point here, let's just cut that off, and vice versa from this point here to this point here, cut that off. I'll just highlight that in marker pen so you can see. There we go, just highlight that again in marker pen so you can see. There we go, right, let's get that done. So we take our insulation saw, as you can see, there is no serrated teeth there, look, it's just a blade. So, as before. We line the back of the saw up, the back of this line here, and we just cut that off. We don't force anything, we don't force knives, we don't force saws, we just let them do the work and just cut it off. Put that out of the way. And similarly again, from this point here to this point here, we just cut it off. out of the way. Now as before we need to take this out here get rid of the bit we don't need we don't need this bit and we'll take it out here as well. Now we put a scratch line in across here like that like that just like that and I'll just mark that in the marker pen. Now that's the line we're going to follow. If you can imagine a line running through there to there, when we cut around here and around here, we're imagining a line going through there, and that's what we're trying to cut to. So we take our pad saw. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to do this this way round because I'm going to hit the bottom of my truck. So we just go in there and we just cut that off, and we're just following around here. So we just imagine a line running through. So we just turn our saw, just keep turning. As we're cutting, just keep turning. Try and imagine that line and try and keep on it. Turning, halfway point, see? We're just halfway point. Now we're going to go back up here and out just here. So, there we go. Turning, 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 turning. And emerging, there we go, absolutely beautiful, straight off. And as you can see, with conventional saw you get lots of mess, and with insulation saw you don't. So if you've got a little lump on there, don't worry, just do that, and that'll take it off. Right, so we bring the 
for the part in and we place that on the top there you can see there are no gaps can you see that nothing no gaps and we turn it around and you can see look there we go right now we take our angle finder and we put that on there look you can see that it is 45 degrees that's what that's set at and you can see it is bang on 45 degrees no questions asked so there we go you know it's now 45 degrees so what we do now is put the other half I normally put them together like this and I put a mark in there scratch that through there and put a mark in there Doing it this way, it means you won't accidentally cut the um, same piece twice. So what we've got here is our diameter's going in there, our wall thickness is going in there, and all we need to do is put a centre line in there. So we get the centre line in, and I'll mark him in again in marker pen, so you can see exactly what's going in. So we're just marking our centre line, and we'll mark those in in marker pen. So you can see them, so I know you can't see that. So there we go. So as we did before, we just take that up to the centre line. And we take that up to the centre line. Just mark that in so you can see it again. And the same again there. Right, so as we did before, taking our trusty insulation saw from this point here, we cut down to here. And all you've got to do is just line the back of your saw up with that. So you just tie it in and let the saw do the work. Don't force anything, just let the saw do the work. There we go, just get that out of the way. Right, now from this point here, again to this point here. So we're going to line the saw up and just take that straight out. There, let me just line the saw up, hide in, and again, just take your time, let the saw do the work, don't force anything, just let the saw do the work, and put it out. There we go. So, again, we take our trusted cut off saw following this line. So, if you can imagine that line going across there and running through there that's what we cut into so we take our pad saw I'll try and cut this so you can see it but I don't think I'll be able to I think I'm going to hit the bottom of the line again and all we're doing is just following this line here so we're just following that so, there we go there we go there we go I'll keep that up Turning the saw for cutting. As you can see, it's very difficult getting this in camera shot. And we're just turning the saw. Now we're coming up this side here, and we're just going to throw an edge there. Just turning the saw, just turning, 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 starting to come out now. And there we go. Absolutely perfect. So, that's absolutely perfect like this. So again we put these together. Just put a, a fixer tape in. That is our oblique C. A little bit of section there just to stand it on. And there we go. The perfect oblique T. As you can see, there are no gaps. And I've already shown you the internal view. There are no gaps there as well. So that is our same size e oblique T. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like. 
And until next time, goodbye.